this is a nine and a half by 11 and a half picture frame that I bought from Goodwill. And this is what I'm going to use for my craft for today. So I'm going to use about eight pieces of the jumbo craft sticks that I bought from Walmart. So I just placed that there and on top, I'm going to put the glass from the picture frame. And that is where I'm going to have the measurement. And now I'm starting to cut it. And once done, I am going to paint this with Espresso by Art Minds and I will apply two coats with this paint. So once done everybody, I have this Waverly Mineral. I will just lightly brush it using a chip brush to make this look distressed and dirty. So you can see that it has a different finish with the picture frame and I'm going to start now this time to glue them together, the craft sticks. So I'm going to use three pieces of this craft, uh, I'm sorry, craft sticks and then I will just glue it on the back of these eight pieces of sticks. And if possible, I don't like a big space. If there is a little space, then that is just fine. I mean, space between craft sticks. So once done, everybody, I am going to just use the Wax Sire by Art Minds. And I'm going to use wet wipes to wipe it onto these craft sticks. And I'll just wipe off the excess paint using a piece of cloth. And you can see the antique finish there. I love the finish. And then I'm going to glue it onto this picture frame. So that's going to be the board of this craft, everybody. Then I will make the hanger using a jute twine. And to make it glued, you know, uh, firmly onto the board, I am going to use these pieces of cloth. And I will just glue it on top of the twine. So now that it's done, I'm showing you a foam pumpkin that I bought from Walmart. And I will just cut it in half. So in this pumpkin, you can make about two pieces of craft using this. So as you can see, I just cut a little piece on the back of this pumpkin because that is where I'm going to uh, put the, the twig. And then I'll be using the leftovers of the corn husk everybody and i'll just glue it and cover the whole pumpkin i'm sorry the half of the pumpkin so once done i will just put jute twine this is also from dollar tree just to accentuate you know this pumpkin So now that it's done, everybody, I'll be using these twigs. Now these twigs, we just pick it up um, at the park and then I just painted it with the burnt umber and that is what it looks like. And then I will just, uh, you know, have them all together using a rustic wire and that will serve as the twig of this 
pumpkin. So you can see it really turned so pretty now and to cover the sides everybody the edges I will just put the twine also from Dollar Tree and just it, it will also help the pumpkin to glue f firmly onto the board. And now I have this Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. I will just put it a little bit there and also on the bottom. Then I have this drop cloth that I bought from Home Depot. I just uh, soaked this in the grunge mix and then um, baked it and that is what it looks like. It looks so grungy, it's so distressed looking. I just cut four pieces of it and just decorate that uh, on top of the, the pumpkin and I will make this raffia bowl. So it really is all up to you everybody. This decoration that I put there, artificial leaves or whatever, what, what you have like leftovers, you can just use it. And then I changed my mind. I just uh, put fall leaves there because I like a little color to my craft. I don't like if it's it doesn't have color. So then I put on top, I glued on top the raffia bow and then I just decorated it with some, I don't know what are these, but I it came from Goodwill. And this one, everybody, I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to just glue it there to accentuate this craft. Just on the side. And just to cover the end of it, I just put a pine cone there. So now that it's done, this is a drawer handle. Everybody, I bought this from Timu. And I will have Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel and Pueblo by Folk Art. So I'm going to paint it first with uh, Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel. And I'm going to just highlight it with the Pueblo by Folk Art and sprinkle a little of the cinnamon. I will dry it and just put it aside to dry some more and this time I am going to make this really very rustic I've missed making rustic craft for how many days I haven't done it so I'm gonna do it now so using the burnt umber by apple barrel I highlighted it with the Pueblo by folk, folk art and then I just sprinkle the cinnamon powder and that really turned out very rustic It's really very pretty. If you like to see more of my craft ideas, everybody, please go to my profile page. Please click like, share, and you please give me a follow. So you will be notified when I go live and you will be updated with my future craft ideas. And that is what it looks like, everybody. It's just so pretty. I love it. I hope you like it. And I hope you love watching this video, everybody. That is just so pretty, very unique, and very economical. And the other, the half pumpkin, you can also use another, you can make another craft using it. So very budget friendly, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And that's the finished craft. I love it. Very rustic looking. And bye-bye.